How's it going guys? Today I'll be comparing the cameras on the iPhone 13 Pro versus the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Here is the microphone test, testing 1212. This is what it sounds like on a Galaxy Z Flip 4. Testing 1212, this is what it sounds like on an iPhone 13 Pro. From my experience of using last year's Flip model, it's probably going to be my best content creation phone. There are so many little details about this phone that makes it so much easier to create. The first reason is the form factor. I can easily put this down and just record myself throughout the day. I don't really need to bring a tripod with me. So a real life example, I can just put this right here on the ledge and I can just basically film myself. The second reason is the front screen. I can see myself, so it's nice to have that little reference when I'm recording or vlogging. And now I can double tap on the front screen to actually zoom out. You see most of the frame or most of the shot. That is a big improvement over the last year's model. And my last reason and improvement over the last year's model is being able to record in clamshell mode. So it doesn't look too awkward when other people are walking my way and looking at the screen seeing myself recording. The phone is closed so I feel like I'm more comfortable vlogging this way and of course I can see myself. An improvement here is being able to record in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Last year it stuck in a square aspect ratio which I didn't like especially if I'm just creating for a, a YouTube video or even shooting for TikTok or Reel. And using the flip makes me use the back camera more often which means a higher quality video. But anyways today is going to be a very simple day. I'm going to head out grab lunch and just shoot some shots around the pier. The Flip 4 has the ultra wide and wide. The only improvement here this year is the main camera lens. It's just a little bit bigger in terms of the sensor size so the quality really depends on that and new processor. In terms of the HDR, I do like the iPhones. It's just slightly more better. I can just see a bit more detail but I, I just feel like because of the Galaxy signature colors it just automatically darker because it's more contrast here the flip 4 is such a selfie phone instead of using the regular front facing camera which is worth quality why not just use the ultra wide camera in the back and capture more of everything and using the main camera for video for better quality and of course a bit more bokeh in the background and it's very easy to do there's a button on the corner just to turn it on just realize that you will be wasting more battery life one thing i noticed recording video in clamshell mode it's stuck at 1080p and it could be recording in the vertical video mode which is 9x16 which is weird because the first clip was that aspect ratio this one is 19x16 so I wish there were some sort of better indication to let me know what orientation is recording in and for the quality it's their signature colors that they have iPhone is a bit more flat the Galaxy or Samsung phones is always a bit more vibrant and saturated for the telephoto and zoom, obviously the iPhone does have a dedicated telephoto lens, so that's going to be much better. So if we do need to zoom in a lot, then of course pick a phone with a telephoto lens. For portrait mode, you can use the front camera and it's fine, it's not the best, but you have the option to use the back camera on the Z Flip 4, so why not do that? Everything is so much more detailed and the colors is more vibrant, and you can use it in clamshell mode, so it's very easy to do. It's nice and convenient just to take high quality portrait selfies on the Z Flip 4. Now for the back cameras on both, the iPhone can register much more better. There are some times where if I'm too far on the Z Flip 4, the background, it just doesn't register for portrait mode. So be aware of that. And of course, the iPhone has a 3X with a telephoto, so you do get that nicer compressed background portrait picture. I noticed on my skin, the iPhone is a bit more brighter and softer, but the Z Flip 4 is just darker and has more saturation. Now moving on to Instagram, if you do like to do that quick zoom effect, then of course the iPhone will have the better quality, but I realized that on a Galaxy or Samsung phones, doing that quick zoom stuff is just much more faster, whereas on iPhone, it's smoother. If you're planning to save your Instagram video into your camera roll, then the first few seconds on any Android phone is very pixelated and ugly, so I would suggest recording a bit earlier. For photos, for the most part, it's pretty good. There are some slight details. The iPhone does have the better HDR for the highlights, and it does look like it has the bigger sensor given that the background blur is a bit blurrier when you're taking close-up images. Now moving on to low light, in areas where you have some lighting like in the city or in a restaurant, it looks like the colors are the biggest difference here. Taking selfies with the front camera, the Galaxy seems to be much better and of course you have the option to use the back camera as well. And when you move into darker places with less light, I would say the iPhone is still better in terms of the details and less noise, but the coloring makes it look so boring versus the Galaxy. But I'll say the night mode is much more brighter on a Samsung. For video, of course the iPhone is still going to win. It's cleaner even though they both don't look that great. And the coloring is still the same, the Galaxy is more vibrant and saturated, iPhone is a bit more bland and gray. But if I put the video quality aside, 
the Z Flip 4 is such a fun phone to use and I would say it's even better to use in terms of just video creation since I don't have to bring a tripod as much, I can stand it up on its own and just record myself for like little quick montage b-roll or whatever. So that is the comparison and my thoughts, I really like to use both and they have their own pros and cons. So let me know your thoughts, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.